up until maybe now. <laughs> Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson with how low the temperature could dip overnight here, Kev. Yeah, yeah, it's going to get a little chilly overnight tonight, but we kind of expect that now, right? In mid to late October, as those nights begin to get a little bit longer. So, yeah, it's going to be a chilly overnight tonight, but we've got really awesome mid to late October weather to close out the week. It's going to be hard to beat all the sunshine and very comfortable temperatures for this time of the year. So here's a look at tonight. Here's a glance overnight lows tonight going to fall back to around 40 for most of us. Some of you are likely to dip down into the upper 30s, especially across parts of Southeast Indiana. I think we've got enough wind tonight to preclude any frost development, so you don't have to be worried about any frost. And you know what? Overnight tonight, we do have a meteor shower of it. The Ornid meteor showers tonight. The only problem, if you plan on going out to try to check those tonight, we've got that waning crescent moon, so some of the fainter meteors are going to basically be blotted out by the moonlight. So that's the only concern and you'll want to do that a little bit after midnight if you're going to try to check those out. Look into your southern sky. All right, get to the satellite here. It's been a breezy day in the wake of that storm system that rolled through here yesterday. High pressure, the weather good guy going to be building in for the next couple of days for us. Now, you can see the effects of that front from yesterday. Temperatures are running across Indiana and Ohio for the most part, 10 to 15 degrees colder than they were yesterday at this evening. You can see here in Cincinnati, we're running about 8 degrees colder than we were yesterday at around 6 o'clock. So here we are outside or right now. We've got a few clouds drifting overhead, but boy, have you noticed how we're losing that daylight in a hurry right now? 60 officially at the airport. Winds have already begun to relax, and we expect that to continue to happen through the night. So temperatures again generally in the upper 50s to around 60 for most of us as the sun drops over the next few hours. Those temperatures will quickly begin to tank their way down through the 50s. There will be a few clouds around through midnight, but once we get those clouds out of here again, no problem for trying to view the Ornid meteor shower tonight. Again, the moon is the only problem with that brighter moonlight again, kind of obscuring some of the fainter meteors, but otherwise chilly start to your Wednesday. You head out the door. You will need a light jacket or a light sweater to get you going, but tomorrow should be a lot like today. Ample sunshine, comfortable, seasonably cool temperatures about in the mid 60s where we should be for this time of the year, and then it looks like it should be a beautiful Wednesday evening. So afternoon highs tomorrow, 60 to 65 for most of us. Low 60s, Georgetown, Mount Orb, 62 Mason, Loveland, Hamilton at 64, Harrison coming in at 64. You'll be in the mid 60s too over in southeast Indiana. So just a few clouds tonight, chilly, and those clouds are mainly early this evening. We'll drop to about 41 here in the city. Again, the burbs, a couple of degrees cooler. I'm going to go with tomorrow being a perfect fall day, to be honest with you. It will be a bit breezy at times. Temperatures generally there in the low to mid 60s. Here's your day planner. Another day where we get those big swings in temperature from morning to afternoon, starting out around 40 and then rising up to somewhere about 64, 65. Here's your seven day forecast. So no weather can Complaints through Friday. It looks great for high school football action again on this Friday evening. Really, the weather impact day is Saturday, unfortunately, and that could turn out to be a deluge. We're talking maybe the most rain we've seen in about a month or two around here, maybe an inch or two of solid rainfall for a large part of the area during the day on Saturday. So Saturday could be a washout before we get back into more tranquil weather for the last week of our <laughs> Mike and I are arguing. I said I have two football games Saturday yeah, and I'm going to the Ohio State game and I paid a lot of money for that one. <laughs>